fierce fighting on one of the front lines on the fringes of the port city of Hodeida. This is one of the largest battles so far in the war in Yemen. For the Houthi fighters who control Hodeida, losing the strategic port is not an option and they are putting up a stiff resistance. The Houthis have attempted another suicide attack, but it failed. We are advancing. Despite earlier promises by the Saudi Emirati coalition and pro-government forces not to fight street battles, in some parts of the city, the conflict has already entered that phase. In one residential area east of the city, bodies lie uncollected. Relentless bombardment and airstrikes have killed numerous fighters. And this is the ultimate price the pro-government alliance and their Saudi and Emirati backers are after. The port of Hodeida, a vital lifeline for millions of Yemenis. More than 70% of Yemen's imports, including UN aid, comes through these docks. As you can see, we're at the front line close to the port of Hodeida, right there in front of you. In the next few days, we'll be able to storm the port. The UN Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, is warning against any disruption to the port's operations. I think that now all the powers agree that it must be ended. I think that circumstances will allow it. I hope the direct actors in the conflict can understand. And I hope that it happens as quickly as possible, because if, for example, the port of Hadaida is destroyed, that would be catastrophic for the whole of Yemen. There is concern too for the safety of hundreds of thousands of civilians who are still in the city. There are now growing calls for a ceasefire and peace talks between the warring parties. In a sign the U.S. is finally losing patience with the war in Yemen, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo reiterated in a phone call to the Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman the urgent need for a cessation of hostilities. Pompeo also urged all parties to come to the table to negotiate a peaceful solution to the conflict. In a meeting in the Saudi capital with King Salman, British Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt spoke of the need to build support for UN peace efforts. Healthy fighters are, however, unconvinced about the sincerity of some of the loudest voices in the calls for ceasefire and could be a while before they agree to peace talks. Mohammed al Houthi, the leader of the Supreme Revolutionary Council of the Houthis, recently described the calls by the United States and United Kingdom as empty talk. In an op-ed in the Washington Post, he wrote that the United States could have stopped the war a long time ago, but has instead chosen to support its corrupt ally, Saudi Arabia. Mohammed Ado Al Jazeera, Djibouti.